She's so fine. Hell on hell of a blows my mind. Hell of a hell of a lights my day. What's good, guys? There's some new information in the death of Vincent Jackson. This came out 20 hours ago from WFLA. It says the Tampa Bay Buccaneers wide receiver who was found dead in his hotel room earlier this week may have been dead for three days when he was found, according to a preliminary medical examiner report. Former wide receiver Vincent Jackson was found dead on at the Homewood Suites on Palm River Road in Brandon, Florida on February the 15th. Preliminary report from the Hillsborough County Medical Examiner's Department says staff members at the hotel went into Jackson's room on February the 13th and also on the 14th and found him sitting slouched over on the couch and assumed he was sleeping. The report says the staff members went into Jackson's room again the morning of the 15th and, quote, were concerned when they found him in the same position, end quote. They said earlier this week that the housekeeper found him at around 11.30 a.m. Jackson's family have reported him missing on the 10th of February, and deputies confirmed Jackson was alive on February the 11th when they were called to check on him, but the sheriff's office said deputies canceled the missing persons report after checking on him at the hotel on the 12th. The preliminary report reiterates what the sheriff's office said earlier this week that there were no signs of trauma. They're still working to determine his exact cause of death. His family indicated that he suffered from chronic alcoholism and concussions, but made clear the investigation into his cause of death was not complete. Could be several weeks before we know what led to the untimely and tragic death of Vincent Jackson. They're going to continue to conduct a thorough investigation along with the Hills Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. His family had reason to believe he may have suffered from chronic alcoholism and concussions. However, the exact cause and manner of Mr. Jackson's death will not be certain until his autopsy, among other reports, is complete. The family has confirmed to WFLA that they have donated his brain for a study on CTE, a degenerative brain disease linked to repeated head trauma. Vincent, being who he was, would have wanted to help as many people as possible, said Allison Gorill, a spokesperson for the Jackson family, via a phone interview. It's something his family wanted to do to get answers to some of their questions. So, that's just a little bit more information into the untimely death of Vincent Jackson. And I'm going to stay on this. So, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.